Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami on the Mysterious JG. In the last video, we met two girls, dressed as schoolgirls, possibly supposed to be schoolgirls. It's hard to say for sure. They were willing, to, they just happened to walk up to Kiryu and ask if uh, he would pay them money for sex. And it turns out that one of them is the daughter of Date the detective. And we are trying to steer her away from some trouble. We've had quite a bit of this in the story. Like, it seems like the main quest of the story is actually a bit thin and short. Um, so even in obligatory story missions, because there's lots of goofy side missions, but even the obligatory story missions often involve, there's some person Kiryu knows that he's going to help them along the way. Like, he's going to help the information brokers. Um, the, the information broker's daughter? Had, f had fallen in love with the son of some yakuza guy. I know that the I know that the son that the the boy in this was a yakuza guy, who was on the outs with his father. And both the yakuza father and the broker kind of wanted to see this resolve itself. In a way that didn't involve the kid getting killed, even though the yakuza father had sent thugs to beat up the kid. I can't remember now if the if the girl was somehow related to. The information broker, which is why Kiryu was helping. Uh, no, no, it was, it, sorry. It's the, I think the boy was either the the information broker's son, or just somehow the the information broker was trying to keep an eye out and protect this kid. And the daughter was the daughter of a yakuza guy. That's right. And the yakuza dad was quite happy to see the son, like to sort of repent and apologize and offer to make it up. Um, even though he had sent people to beat this kid up. But yeah, like that's a thing where like the story didn't really tell like the story told us to do that in the like here's your next quest objective sense. Not in any narrative lore like doing this will get you closer to solving the mystery of what happened to your girl and who killed the uh Yakuza leader uh and and you ended up taking the fall. Like that's part of the story. There's no reason that, that would help. And now we're kind of in a similar thing. Like, well, Date's our friend, he's helped us. We we're not actually in any way moving closer towards fixing Kiryu's problems, but it's like, well, here's a main story thing where we're kind of helping out the Date, even though there's no particular reason that this is helping Kiryu other than just doing a Date good turn. But it seems Shota, the guy that Sai has hung up over, is working as a host at Stardust now. I'll get to the bottom of this. But first, a quest that is just as related to our Central Core uh, pursuits as, as this one. The drunk guy quest. So there's App Stim RX improving digestive tract function. Contact lenses. Well, never mind. The really high end stamina and stuff is here. Uh. Would this help the guy? Because I figured, I figured we came here, we might be able to find something to help him. Because he said he needed medicine. This is the only thing that isn't just a generic type of item. All right, let's buy this. Are you laughing at me? I already got though. <laughs> you dumb sucker. That's not gonna help. This item actually is weird. Like, it it inflicts damage on you when you take it, which allows you to eat food again. Uh, so, like, you can use it as a way to quickly try all the food in the city. If that's what you're working on. But there's no particular reason you'd ever do that. You just need to get in a fight and take a single hit. And you will be allowed to eat again. Oh, take that. Uh, no. I... No, I don't. What are you gawking at? Move on. Good place. Is this the place? No, that's some kind of restaurant. Oh, oh, speed! Oh, come on up. Sorry. Do you have any medicine? This guy. We're gonna give him strength recovery medicine work. What should I hand over? Never mind, apparently I wasn't supposed to, uh...
Apparently I shouldn't have given him uh, digestive medicine. That's not going to help us. Here, use this. It will charge up your health and, st and heat a little. Oh, corp. Phew, thanks. I feel a whole lot better now. Uh, you can consume a drink, but don't let it consume you. About that, I'm worried it did some very rude things. Uh, well, I've some very rude things here while I was under the influence. I talk like this even when sober. Dots. You were a perfect gentleman. I uh, know I'm paranoid about whether I'm recording. Did I start recording again, or did I just uh, start playing the game again? No, I'm recording. Okay. I, I, it doesn't happen as frequently as it as it did earlier in my LP career, but I just like I just was convinced for like a second I didn't hit record. Well, a little. Oh God, you know it. I'm so sorry. Please take this approach to my token of my apology. Or you accept it, I will feel bad if you don't. He gives you five yen. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You got alertness hood. Uh, like every time I drink, I end up like this. Maybe I need to quit drinking for good. Um, it's worth considering. Alcohol is only okay if you don't let it take over your life. I wonder if that man can take his back. Well, that was a... I mean, it was a quest, I guess. Sure. Alright, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna use this. As you can see, it just damages us. And, uh... So we can get the triple X, not Staminan Spark, but Staminan Triple X is available. Torin or Max or whatever. And uh, next time we're in the neighborhood, I think we just uh, spend some money stocking up on really good uh, Healing on us. Meanwhile, alertness hood. We should take a look at that, what that is. The hood helps you break down alcohol in your body, allowing you to sober up quickly. Oh. Well, I kind of off screen my way through most of what we need to do as far as trying different alcohols is concerned. So, probably the smart thing to do now, honestly, I should just go jam a few things in the locker so that oh no oh, what am I really worried about if I get something I think it either automatically goes to my locker if I can't carry it or I might be given the chance to do inventory management at the locker but oh we've got some stuff going on out here hostos at various level of most onus I'd like to go in is that okay hey aren't you here with someone who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Well, you sure don't look like a woman. We're a host club, not a bar to pick up chicks at, so you can't come in alone. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Huh? This gentleman is a friend of the owner. If you're trying to be useful, go swing some drinks by these ladies. Oh, I had no idea. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. And also, don't put your head at that level right by my junk. I'm glad that guy knew who we were. Hey, it's Raiden! When do I get my own blood back? You're here alone today, Kiryu-san? Yeah, I think I know a girl is inside. I see. Let me clear a table for you. No, it's okay. I can see it myself, but thanks anyway. No, you don't understand. Like, we have standards here, sir. Sir! Please don't go in and just disrupt an existing party. <laughs> oh, Kiryu-san! Ah, Welcome by yourself today! Actually, I'm looking for a guy named Shota. Shota Ibushi. Hey, Shota, he's over there. He's got that schoolgirl prosecutor with him. You know, this is probably going to end in violence. It would be nice if we could find another way to solve it, though. That's him over there. That's him over there. The Joto Journeys. She's uh, discovering what it means to be a woman. 
Well, you gotta understand that the shampoo's not working on my flakes. You always interfere with my prostitution, Dad. It's not like a minor wrong turn, Saya. You're selling yourself on the street. You didn't settle up yet. Kiryu, we know that you saved the place from the Mafia before, but we really can't have this kind of thing happening in our club. Says the owner. Not me, because I didn't say it like this. <laughs> oh, of course there's going to be some combat. Yeah, everyone just kind of looks awkward. There's no actual penalty. Like, the host... The Hosto Club with the Mosto Club, like, you would think that they'd have to have a word with the guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got a problem, old man? We're just kidnapping this girl. <laughs> What's it to you? Like, we're just out here openly assaulting a woman as a group. What's it to you, policeman? <laughs> Wait a second, it's, these guys can't be with the host club, can they? Oh, she's been borrowing money from them. And he's like, how dare you make her sell the goods she has. She's been working with dry goods, importing and exporting for years. How dare you interfere with that? The guy's like, I can't believe you took offense at that. I can't believe you're coming to my aid, ally. Oh yeah, I'm leaving everything to her. It actually should really help with her whole money problem. Do we actually get to fight with Date as an ally, or are we just, uh... Yeah, alright! See if Date can take care of some of this action. Um, there's a fancy way to disarm guys with knives, but I... Woo! I'm just, like, determined to actually beat this guy before I beat his thugs for a chance. Uh. I'm doing everything in my power to actually finish this guy off. Oh, wow, there we go. There's the knife. Yeah, I finished him off by shooting one of his thugs into him. All right, Date and I have a double team maneuver. Date, that's probably not that smart. There's like six of them. You holding one of them so I can punch is probably not really the way to go here. It's actually probably time for beast mode now for crowd clearing, but... Oh, this guy was almost dead and I'm wasting my heat move on him. It'll be fine. I can't grab him while he's down, huh? Well, that'll do it anyway. Who's left? Date's at a, getting double teamed over there. Alright, Date, finish him off. Alright, Date, miss completely. Now I'll throw a punch that takes you both out. <laughs> my allies and my enemies. Yeah, let that guy lying in the pool of his blood. He really was the first one to feed him as the leader for once. 
He slits his throat in full view of the public. Tell me where your boss is. That's right, I want Sasha Banks. And Bruce Springsteen. I guess you know Date-san. What do you think, girl who was selling herself on the streets to pay for this hosto club? Where we're all now... Well, I mean, I guess it's not... Like, the hosto club... The whole hostess and hosto club dynamic... I do find it kind of troublesome. I mean, the world is full of tales of, you know... Usually guys, can't happen to girls, like falling in love with someone who's just using you for your money. Uh, I shouldn't say it usually happens. Like, if it's a professional, uh, like, hostos and hostesses are not sex workers, exactly. It's, it's like, it's, there's this line that gets confusing. It's pretty clear in the U.S., in the West in general, if you've got a sex worker. This idea of somebody who's like, well, they're not a sex worker, but you are paying to hang out with them and get involved romantically but not physically. That's, that's an Eastern thing. But I like the fact that, well, you know... I don't know what's going to happen except with this, except that the host club is like, oh, we understand. Like, you know, she came in and got herself in trouble. And like the people at the host club are like supportive of us hanging out there while the problem is solved. They're not like you would think they would like, you know, in, in like some of the sub quests where they're like they're they're setting up the clients and they would be like, you know, we need you to leave. But like. And maybe it's because uh, Kiryu came in and, and rescued them from the Yakuza before. But this is the host club where it's like, the host club where it's like, well, it's unfortunate that some of our clients get in over their heads a little bit. And we're happy to be the place where you guys hang out and, and all collectively worry about what happens to Date as he goes to try to deal with the organized crime gang that was prostituting his daughter so that she could pay for our host club. But yeah, generally they're portraying this host, host club as... These are good guys, and they're your, they're they are on your side. I, I I it's kind of fun. Are you a part of the staff here? What? What's going on? There are multiple people asking for Shota, so I haven't got any time with him at all. I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Don't just apologize. See something about it. If it's not Shota, I don't want it. I won't come back here ever again. I understand. I'll talk to the owner. Why in the world am I taking this lip from her? I was, I was just curious when I said I'm terrible. I, I was just trying to be polite when I said I'm terribly sorry. Not my problem. Sounds like a personal problem. What? Then why are you here? It's a host club, so you should be here with a partner. You don't have a drop of class. Yeah, she just doesn't seem very nice, does she? Are you Shota? I think you're Shota. Oh, wow. Say, his father was a badass. Yeah. Kind of reminded me of my dad back in the country. I wonder how Pops is doing now. Um, you know, I was a real badass. You know that, right? I also only want Shota. Are they going to close the club? Haven't you drank enough? <laughs> yeah, probably. At some point for the night. Yeah, probably. Gee, Stardust is a great place, but there's always so much drama here. And yet I still come. Well, that's the point. You, you, you know, hopefully not till you get home, but we do want you to come. Haven't you drank enough? Why, haven't you had enough to drink? No, I'm just going to go drink more at my own club anyhow. Your own? Yeah, I work at the nearby cabaret club. Yeah, there, there seems to be this weird, like, club-based economy where the hostos go to hostess clubs, the hostesses go to cabaret clubs, and the cabaret people come to hosto clubs. And... I got a call... I got called in last minute today, so I need to go help out. I guess this was good timing. Huh. We're heading to town after you close up, right? <laughs> Quirky. Mm. Sounds good, but you haven't been requesting me lately. Uh -huh. Oh, enough about the request, Lin Chan. If I keep paying to get you, I'm going to have to mortgage to my place. Oh, I had no idea. I'll make sure you get a discount. Oh, do you work here? Oh, I said that. Do it. <laughs> And let me give you my honest opinion. I think that young girl at the other table is being played. I've heard some nasty rumors about Shotokun. Like what? Well, they say he used to work at another host club. That's terrible. But he made a customer borrow money and demanded interest. He's pretty unscrupulous. Poor girl had no idea, I'm sure. Well, yeah, okay. We met the leader... Leader? The, the owner, proprietor of this host club before. He doesn't seem to be around now. But, um... 
we need to talk to him because apparently he's hiring some pretty shady hostos. These hostos don't have the most, though. Do you suppose Shotokun will be all right? You worried about him? Quite, I believe Shotokun is being threatened. Mm. Threatened? I think he borrowed money for that Saya girl, and now he's being harassed by debt collectors as a result. Wait a minute, they can't both have been... <laughs> they can't both be, like, playing a game to get debt collectors involved. Oh, do you work at this club, too? No, I'm... Ooh, you must be a host. Hey, what's your name? Mm. You got the wrong idea. I have to go. Ah, uh, here's the owner. Let's talk to, uh, Bobcat Goldthwait first. I'm a little worried. About what? About Shota, he's a great earner. He's polite enough, but I don't really like the crowd he falls in with. Hope he's not involved in anything weird. Oh, you mean like kinky shit? <laughs> like, uh, letting the girls spank him or spanking the girls? I'm sorry, Kiryu-chan. I didn't realize all this was happening while I was away from the club. Oh, yeah, that's a likely story. By the way, why are you wearing a cross necklace? So are you are you a Christian, or are you wearing it in the, like, Japanese sense that it symbols, like, oppressive totalitarianism of the Tokugawa shogunate? Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just worried about Dutty son I wasn't aware Saya-chan owed the club money. Although that does explain why Shota asked for an advance. Advance? Uh, that's when a host borrows money from the club. Oh yeah, no, I'm aware of what... Look, I uh, know, I understand the concept of an advance. Usually it's for when their customer can't cover their tab and the host pays for, pays it for them up front. Why would you make the host pay? N none of this makes sense. <laughs> if the host has a customer and the customer can't pay... It's like if I go to fucking Burger King and order a sandwich and I can't I can't pay for my double whopper, they're not gonna make the cashier cover it. <laughs> then the host collects it on his own. With interest. You know, and you know what I mean by that, right? I mean he goes and he bangs her in an alley or something. So Shota needs money to pay back the advance. So so these two are really not doing each other any favors. Like she's selling herself on the street to pay part of the tab. And and then he's getting in trouble because she can't pay the full tab, and he's borrowing money too. It seems like the way this club is being run is just destroying everyone's lives. Yeah. No, I think that's somewhat unlikely. The advances that our club don't charge interest are imposed deadlines. Yeah, he's like Kazuki's the hosto with the mosto as far as being a good hosto leader. So something's going up. Where's Shota? What the fuck's going on? Like you said, you okay? So the plot is we. The game has told us consistently that you're a good hosto leader. Like you, you're a, you're the hosto with the heart of gold, <laughs> the head hosto with the mosto love and respect for his hostos. <laughs> but now there's something really shady going on, and a you were quote away from the club while it started, and b it's like it doesn't even make sense within the rules of your club. I hear you I'm very upset about this. So upset, I'm considering buttoning up the rest of my shirt buttons. He had an early shift, so he's clocked out already. Hmm. Date may be in more trouble than we imagined. This is being more complicated than the Yakuza daughter quest. Uh-huh. Oh, so that's why you were spending so much to help him. Yeah, you've been set up, girl. Okay, so that kind of... Like, I don't know whether she should believe him or not, but... Teenage girl, she's in love with this guy. And she thinks that he's gonna die if she can't raise the money. Uh, a tad melodramatic, but it's making a little more sense she would jump to prostitution if she literally thinks this guy's life is in danger. But Kiryu's response is utterly appropriate. He's got no respect for this punk-ass bitch. Well, he didn't literally ask me. He heavily implied dressing up in my schoolgirl costume and selling myself on the street would be uh, a benefit. He, he, you know, when I raised the possibility, he kind of demurred and didn't outright reject it. Let's put it that way. 
でも私には翔太しかいないから。Uh -huh. Why don't you have a romantic relationship with your father? <laughs> That's not really what he's saying, but. Yeah, look, look, buddy. That's great and all. But he said, you know, we were supposed to meet for lunch, but he got knockout drunk. <laughs> like, he got blackout drunk instead of meeting me for dinner, and now you're telling me what a fucking superstar daddy is. Fuck you. Not your business. You know, shades of, uh... Oh, man, I'm blanking on his name now. Uh, the, uh, hero of, uh, Lennis 2. Uh, every, you've, you've all seen Lennis 2. I mean, it's one of the most popular Let's Plays ever. The only Let's Play where I can categorically say my subscriber went count went down based on Lennis 2, because somebody literally did reveal that they unsubscribed because they didn't want to see any more Lennis 2 videos in their feed. But um, Sir Ferris the actor Eigen, how could I forget? Sir Ferris the actor Eigen, in the ending of that game, he just goes off on this, like... <laughs> it, it was kind of hilarious, actually. I really enjoyed I really enjoyed voice acting it because I got a, I got a lot of fun uh, making up the responses from the character Iris, but he just reads the riot act to this party member who, uh, you know, they, they'd kind of, her jokingly, her character was that she, you had to buy all this really expensive gear to hire her to the party, and, and she was supposed to be this kind of frothy, frivolous girl, but she had good magic stats, and it was fun to use her in the party for a while, and I tried in that game to use all the party members because I knew from the earlier game, Paladin's Quest, Lennis in Japan, that there would likely be an ending scene where you got to, you know, re-engage with all the people you'd ever recruited in your party. So, <laughs> there's this whole thing where he just, like, reads her the riot act in this really douchey, condescending way, which, you know, I think it's supposed to be a ride-on moment where you're telling her off, but, but it really just comes across as, like, okay, like, just why don't you fucking mansplain to this teenage girl how to live her life, asswipe. And now we're getting that exact energy from Kiryu. Uh... You know, I've been blathering on, and we're a few minutes away from the end, so we might as well just call it here. When we come back next time, maybe we'll get more than one or two lines of dialogue at a time uh, without me pausing the game to uh, speechify at you. But, you know, if I, don't, if I don't keep up that kind of awesome audience engagement, I'll never turn this Let's Play into one that costs me more subscribers than Let Us Do did. Anyway, guys, catch you guys next time. Luckily, I don't use this uh, channel to make money, because if so, there's no way I would be able to prevent my boyfriend from being murdered. <laughs> I'm going to have to sell my body instead. Catch you guys next time.